Good evening, this is Mark. I had a dream a while ago, an astrological dream, of Mercury conjoining with Venus. So I was looking for the next time that would happen. It seems like it would happen more often than it does. Mercury and Venus do not conjoin very often. Um, if Mercury retrogrades, Venus might be behind the retrograde, so to speak. Venus might be... Um, Um, further behind the sun or f further further f further behind in the zodiac so like when Venus Venus does, does a, a bigger orbit than Mercury so if Venus is, is, is behind and Mercury goes behind but then it starts going forward again because it goes around the sun in a circle so it looks like it goes backwards then it looks like it goes forwards and it looks like it goes backwards Venus can be it goes around the sun, you know, but it can it, it can be going go look like it's going backwards when when Mercury is going backwards. But then before it gets to Venus, it goes forwards again. So it isn't very common, you know, maybe once a year, twice a year, that Mercury conjoins Venus. So I have my ephemeris here, the American ephemeris for the twenty first century. Um, what does it say? Revised and expanded, third edition. Neil F. Michelson and Rike Pottinger. Pottinger, and uh, Maritha Pottinger is a big time astrologer. Unfortunately, she doesn't seem to know. I don't know what what she knows. She she she, she probably does. Doesn't seem to know um, Vedic astrology. Vedic astrology with the tropical zodiac is really the way to go. I didn't know that, and with you get it when you get into well, it tells it's, it's told it's said, it's said a lot about me when I've investigated it, and I did get a, a Vedic reading, and it just blows your mind how accurate it is because people think that Western astrology is accurate. Or I, I was told by a Vedic astrologer that did my reading that I should call it modern astrology versus ancient astrology. Vedic astrology would be, considered, would be considered ancient astrology. And uh, ancient astrology is just, I mean, the, the modern astrology might seem accurate, and it is. To some, I mean, it, it, it says some truths, but Vedic astrology is amazingly accurate. And I have three minutes left on this recording, so I better go. In May of this year, 2020, Mercury and Venus conjoin in Gemini at the in May at the um, 20th degree of Gemini so that's that's the date that God was apparently referring to the 20th degree of Gemini Mercury and Venus can join you want to look it up go ahead and look it up that's my video Mercury and Venus conjoining. I remember seeing that in my dream in the sky, and other people were looking up at it. Better charge this um, camera.